Shuli Princess here from Kingston, Jamaica in the Caribbean, and you're watching Third Eye Vision Show with Anthony Parker. That's right, we're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? You're also talking off camera about the um, entrepreneurship in terms of like people who are visually impaired or blind are now more so coming uh, into the YouTube world and doing videos. Do you think that that's, that's becoming a trend with a lot of uh, uh, more so blind people because the fact they're having a hard time finding a job? Because I have. Um, you know, I'm not sure why other blind people have opened their YouTube channels. I started my YouTube channel because I've always called to be a teacher. And I've discovered I can teach people through my YouTube channel. So this is what I'm doing, Anthony. I'm answering my calling through my YouTube channel. Um, and I encourage anybody, whether you're blind or sighted, that if you have something important that you need to share with the world, YouTube is a good alternative or a good uh, platform for doing that. I definitely agree. But I, 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 I... Just to piggyback off that, I've noticed that since I've started my, my channel, it's like a barrage of uh, people, uh, visually impaired individuals that are coming out to show the world exactly what they do. And, and mm -hmm. lot of them, a lot of them probably are looking at the fact that one of these days they may get paid for doing it, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. But I feel also that, you know, if they are looking towards that, they are so also, also are looking towards some type of employment and, and thinking that maybe, hey, this may be something for me because I'm not going to lie to you. With, and, I, and I keep uh, going back to the job that I do have and everyone is like man keep on doing it it's going to work out I'm thinking and I'm hoping and I'm praying and all that good stuff that this may turn out to something that you know can, can basically be financially I can be financially stable by doing so you know because yeah. the job better yeah go ahead and Anthony, this, you know, YouTube is a really good platform for people like you and I to go on and show the world what blind people's abilities truly are to help open up the job market for blind people and the, the um, education field for blind people, you know, to help bring down those uh, roadblocks that that um, you and I have faced in our in our lives, you know what I mean? I'm sure you faced a lot of the same stuff, you know, where you go to try to do something and you're told you can't do that because you're blind. Well, you and I and other blind YouTubers are demonstrating with our videos every day. We're showing the world how blind people are doing things. And I think it can only help the cause of blind people. And honestly, people everywhere. That's true, that's true. And as we close on this particular topic, and I, I wanna ask you, why do you think that still today, which is 2020, which is, we're in 2020 right now, that, that sighted people are just people who are non-blind or non-visually impaired are still kind of like in the dark, quote unquote, about the things that we do. They still ask questions. Do you think not enough blind people are out there in order to educate? Because I'm like, with technology and all these things that are out there, it, it, it appears appears to me that they should have some type of knowledge to know that hey a blind person can cook you know what <clears throat> a blind person can do x x y z why do you think that because i still get people like man you still do this you y'all you know saying y'all know how to do this why do you think that that's still the case to me those people are irrelevant when i come across people like that i simply say i can't do it and and that's it you know because I know I can do it. You know what I mean? And just like, you know, you can do it. You know what our, you and I both know what we're capable of using today's technology. And so when they say that, you know, that's when you just go do it. You know no. what I mean? You just, and make, you don't, make a believer you don't, out of them. yeah, you just like go do it. And they're like, okay, you just show me like, okay, look, I did what you said I couldn't do. Now can I have the job? You know what I mean? <laughs> or whatever, yeah, whatever yeah. you're trying to prove. But you know, the thing is, it's a lot easier for us now to prove that we can do things. There was a time like 30 years ago when I went blind, trying to prove that I had a right to live, that I had a right to continue trying to get an education, that I had a right to dream of, of someday living a happy and successful life. You know, back then they didn't think blind people had those abilities. And today we, you know, it's a, it's a completely different ball field for us, Anthony, and I'm so excited at the potential for all of us. And it really drives me crazy 
the blind people that I know who sit around and whine and complain. 30 years ago, maybe that was understandable. It was very hard 30 years ago. I, I mean, I remember what it was like. You remember what the, what, talking book machine tapes yeah. were oh, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah, I mean, just getting, just getting, just getting, uh, just getting a uh, fiction reading was difficult, let alone textbooks and stuff. You know, I didn't have access to any, any accessible textbooks when I went to school. Girl, and, let me, that means, I don't mean to, inter, in, in, you know, interrupt, but yeah, you, you brought up top talking books. Tell them somebody, I mean, the cassettes with, that played the four, four tracks. I yes, mean, the four-sided cassettes, yeah. <laughs> I remember the big cases of 8, 12, 16 cassettes for one book, man. Oh, man, I remember that. Oh, God, you have dated me for real, because now technology has emerged. Where it's, like, it's none of that, for real. I mean, mm -hmm. I definitely, I, as a matter of fact, I still get talking books in the mail, you know, as well, we digress. But, what's um, really funny is I know that that was what it was like in 89 when I went blind. I know that even <laughs> before that, like, people were getting, like, floppy disks and records. <laughs> yes. Before that, I'm like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I should have saved. I should have saved some just for as a souvenir, but I threw those away. I used them as and things like yeah, that. Yeah, you see, those, those are probably be collectors today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, but th <laughs> thanks to technology, things have gotten better and what happened. So, I, yeah. I agree with what you're saying as we close out this topic. But um, definitely, I mean, if it did, if you're gonna show, if, if blind people word to the wise if you show blind people if you show yourself doing some things do it you know don't don't just don't just do certain things just just because like you know blind people eating you know so let's let's uh -huh. let's i'm not trying to tell people how they do that how to do the channels but if you're going to educate because we already have that stigma against us let's try to educate yeah. motivate and alleviate you know and that's what i say what do you think Beth? you know i agree with you Anthony. <laughs> you know before i started my channel i did a lot of Facebook live videos oh. and I tried to keep them interesting but sometimes I did videos <laughs> like I'm, 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 I'm eating a candy bar you know? <laughs> and now now I find that time at times I do I still do those Facebook videos like that oh. just so I can stay in touch with my my viewers a little bit more because oh, yeah it's hard on YouTube you know to really be in touch with our viewers so much it, it really is it really is